Stokes law. So before going to understand this one, first go through this one. They consider three types of waves. So all are having same amplitude A and all have the equal wavelengths lambda. Then how can we tell the difference between all the waves? So like this, since it is starting with the, there is only one difference called phase difference. All the three waves are having a phase difference. So this consider this wave, this is starting from an angle of 0 degrees and this is starting with the 180 degrees. So this is the phase. So the phase difference between these two waves are, can be known as uh, 180 degrees. And since consider this one, it is starting from 90 degrees. The phase difference between wave A and wave C is 90 degrees. And the relation between A and B or the path difference and the phase difference is pi. 2 pi is equals to lambda. Where lambda is the wavelength, 2 pi is the total angle. So, if it is completed one cycle of operation, then it is completing an angle of 360 degrees. So, then this portion can be considered as the wavelength. So, wavelength can be written as 2 pi or pi equals to lambda by 2. So, these are the two things that we are supposed to remember. And now, Stokes law. So, when a light ray is reflecting from the surface of a denser medium, suppose if you incident a light ray like this, this is angle of incidence made by the incident light ray with the normal. Some part will get refracted and some part will be reflected. So, this is also angle of incidence i, where angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. So, according to Stokes law, when a light ray is reflecting from the denser medium, suppose if it is starting with 0 degrees, incident ray, incident ray is starting, uh, starting phase is 0 degrees. Then according to Stokes law, the reflected light is having a phase change of 180 degrees or pi degrees. So, this is your reflected light. So, according to Stokes law, when a light ray is reflecting from the surface of a denser medium, then the reflected ray undergoes a phase change of pi degrees with compa when compared to the incident light ray or a path difference of lambda by 2. Since the reflected light ray undergo a phase change of pi degrees or a path difference of lambda by 2 as we discussed earlier. But in the case of denser medium to rarer medium, that means if a light ray is reflecting from the surface of a rarer medium, there is no phase change and there is no path difference. That means there is no phase change. So, which is not required for us for the thin film derivation. What we have to consider is when light is reflecting from denser medium, what is going to happen? So, there is a phase change of pi degrees or a path change of lambda by 2. This we have to consider. 